Crisby Stick and Buzzy Wax. Two new beeswax based products for seasoning cast iron pans and skillets. Do they produce good nonstick seasoning? Do they work on carbon steel as well? Hi and welcome to Uncle Scott's Kitchen. Let's find out. Now the Crispy Stick functions like a little deodorant. Just pop the top off, twist the dial, and up comes the Crispy Wax. Now just because it functions like a deodorant doesn't mean that it's funny to swap it out with your wife's deodorant just to see what she'll do. Don't ask me how I know, but it is not funny. It's actually a little funny. Now the Buzzy Waxes are almost like little pucks of shoe polish, something your dad or you might use to shine your Sunday shoes before going to church. Use it just like shoe polish, just open the top, get some on a rag or paper towel, and wipe it around your pan. Now the Crispy Stick has beeswax in combination with soybean oil and palm oil. The Buzzy Wax has beeswax in combination with canola oil and grapeseed oil. And to test these out head to head, what I did is use them both on the same pan. So I took the 12 inch lodge cast iron that we had just cleaned, made sure it was clean and dry. I seasoned the left half with crispy stick and the right half with buzzy wax. Now both of these products are solids at room temperature. So you have to use a warm pan so that the products will melt and be able to be spread around and rubbed in. So I heated the pan, took a towel, rubbed on some buzzy wax, almost like you're going to shine a pair of shoes, rubbed that all over the right side of the pan, rubbed it in really well, then for the crispy stick, you actually take the stick and rub the stick on the pan. So a little bit of that melted off and then I took another towel and rubbed it in really well. Then I seasoned the pan in the oven. Okay, the skillet went into the oven shiny black, but after the first seasoning, it was a little splotchy and I felt like some of the wax was absorbed into the pan. I repeated the process another three times, so four seasonings in total. You can really see the seasoning fill in and develop more and more each time I season the pan. Okay, and after seasoning this pan four times in a row, Using the Buzzy Wax on the right side, the Crispy Stick on the other, I can tell no discernible difference between the two products. I think they both work very well. The seasoning came in nicely on the bottom of the pan. It's a nice, shiny, dark, hard black. We cooked some burgers on the stove top. They browned up really nicely. We cooked some cornbread in the oven. Here's the pan right after releasing the cornbread. No sticking on either side. So I think they work very well on cast iron. The next thing I want to do is try them out on carbon steel. So what I did was take the nine and a half inch debouille that I had just scratched with the chain mail, applied a light coat of the buzzy wax, and did a quick maintenance stovetop seasoning. Got the pan up to smoking. I thought that shiny spot darkened in a little bit, darkened in kind of nicely. And the next thing to do to test it out was the proverbial fried egg test. So I heated up the pan, in goes the egg, and boom, look at that thing slide around. <laughs> to do a similar test with the Crispy Stick, I used this 11 inch or so Moviel pan. Now this one I had nuked for a previous video, so it didn't have quite as much seasoning on it as the uh, Debouille. I melted on some of the Crispy Stick, did another stovetop seasoning, did another egg test, and boom, nice sliding around. So even though this pan didn't have quite as thick a layer of seasoning as the Debouille, the Crispy Stick still did very well and the egg slid around perfectly. And I note that the irony is not lost on me that I've done a bunch of videos about carbon steel skillets and showing people how to remove that initial coating of beeswax from their pans. Now I'm adding beeswax back. But I gotta say that the beeswax in combination with those other oils seems to work pretty well on carbon steel. Okay, final verdict. I've been using the Buzzy and the Crispy for a couple of months now and I really like both of them. I'm gonna give both of them a thumbs up. I can't tell much difference, if any at all, between the two products. They both seem to work equally well. I find myself using them more on the cast iron than the carbon steel. I'm still using just uh, 
canola oil or a vegetable oil to season my carbon steel, but I'm using the Crisby and the Buzzy on my cast iron quite a bit, and I like that. Now, they're not nearly as cheap as good old Crisco oil when it comes to seasoning, but then again, I'm kind of a nut about my pans, and most of the people watching this channel are kind of pan fanatics, and I really don't mind paying up a little bit for a specialty product that works well, and both of these do. I'm gonna give both of them a thumbs up, both of them between $10 and $20, decent value. The one note I would make here is that the puck form is a little bit less messy than the stick. The stick, when you rub this around a hot pan, it leaves a little bit of melted wax that kind of gets gunky on the cap. But Crisby makes this exact same product in a puck form. So if you try the Crisby, I recommend the puck rather than the stick. Now if you have time, post your seasoning methods in the comments below. Here are some links to other videos you might find enjoyable. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time on Uncle Scott's Kitchen.